This tube helps us to understand some of the biggest mysteries in the universe. Let's find out how. This is a prototype of the Large Hadron Collider beam pipe at CERN, and there's actually an incredible amount of physics wrapped up in this tube. So the first thing that we notice is there's actually two steel tubes here, and they have a support structure, but they are separated by a gap. Now, when the beam pipe is in the Large Hadron Collider, there are actually two beam pipes side by side, and each beam of the LHC travels in one pipe only in opposite directions. So the outside pipe is uh, it's made of stainless steel, and that is mainly because it needs to have a rigidity, strength, but it also needs to not interfere with the magnetic field lines of the dipole magnets in the Large Hadron Collider. So the dipole magnet surrounds the LHC beam pipes and it's a superconducting magnet, which means that it has to be kept very, very cold. And we use superfluid helium to get it down to 1.9 Kelvin. Inside the beam pipe, we have the beam screen. So this is a second stainless steel tube. And the main job of the beam, beam screen, uh, try saying that too many times quickly, um, is that when charged particles, such as the protons that are traveling in the LHC, uh, are, they change direction due to the dipole magnet, they give off what's called synchrotron radiation. So these are particles that are emitted by the beam and they hit the side of our beam screen and this causes heat. And we don't want this heat to reach the dipole magnets, which as I said, need to be kept very cold. So the screen intercepts them and then it has these tubes, which uh, then carries away this extra heat before it reaches the beam pipe. In addition, when the bunches of charged particles travel through this, they induce a charge on the inside of the beam screen. And this, in addition, also causes heat. But if we use an electrically conductive material, so actually our beam screen is coated with a 50 micron layer of copper, this reduces the resistance and creates less heat on the inside of our beam screen. What you might notice is that the beam screen is wider in the horizontal direction and shorter in the vertical direction. So the vertical is to allow these pipes to fit in and the horizontal is because we have a wider horizontal dispersion of the charged particles due to their different momenta. There's one more thing I want to share about this tube, but I ran out of time in the video, so there is a bonus part two. And there we go. This is how a stainless steel tube helps us to uncover the mysteries of the universe. In my last video, I told you about the prototype Large Hadron Collider uh, beam pipe that I was allowed to bring home from CERN. And there's one bit I didn't manage to fit into the last video, so I wanted to share that with you here. This is probably my favorite part about the Large Hadron Collider beam pipe. So. We have a very strong vacuum inside of the beam pipe so that it doesn't interfere with the charged particles, the protons, as they're traveling through. And because we have this two pipe structure, we have these little gaps in the beam screen that allow any gas that gets trapped anywhere to travel between the two and it can be pumped out of the vacuum. But charged particles have their own electric field and when they travel through the center of here, this electric field interacts with these holes in the beam screen. Now we can use an analogy here of somebody being pushed on a swing. If they are pushed in a regular way, then they go higher and higher the more that they are pushed. But if you were behind them and you were pushing them at random intervals, then they wouldn't actually swing very high, but they'd just get shaken around a lot. And so in a similar way, the designers of the LHC beam screen and beam pipe spaced these holes in the beam screen at irregular distances. They are randomly spaced on the beam screen. And this is so they don't cause large instabilities of the LHC beam, but they might cause a tiny bit of a wobble, but this can be uh, accounted for and corrected in other ways. I think it's pretty cool that I have a job where I can just email someone at CERN and say, can I borrow a prototype of the Large Hadron Collider beam pipe for a few days? And they're like, sure.